Hello, my name is Arson Oliveira and I will be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be covering more advanced options related to containers. So we have um, here a test site that I have added uh, two modules to this page already and each module has a different container. I'm going to log in as uh, host or admin to the backend so I can show you some more advanced uh, features related to container. So I'm going to log into the site. Okay, so now I'm logged in and the first thing that I'm going to cover is how to uh, display or hide some of the additional options uh, that you can, uh, you can select when you're using a container. For instance, uh, a container may or may not have a, a print tag or a maximize, minimize tag. So the print one is whenever you click on print, a pop-up will come up with the content of that uh, particular uh, module loaded inside and then you can print it alone. So that's the that's the function behind the print uh, option. The maximize minimize is uh, you can click on it and the area, the content area will, be, will disappear as you can see. Uh, here's another example. Minimize, maximize. Uh, the sample, the, the, the content is very short so you don't see that much. Let me put some content here. Okay, so I have placed some more content. Let's have a look how. Okay, so we have more content here. And if I click maximize or minimize, you'll see that the content will disappear. Now, I personally don't use print, the print option, the maximize, minimize option much. So I prefer to disable them. To disable them is very easy. Uh, we're just go, gonna go back to the site as um, host or admin. And then under the module settings in the action menu, settings, we can switch them on or off. Under page settings, here we have uh, allow print. We can uncheck that. If I uncheck allow print, click update. Then if I go back to Internet Explorer site, just click refresh. And you see that the print option is no longer here. I can do the same thing with uh, the minimize, maximize. I can go back to action menu, go to settings, and then under settings, I can go to uh, page settings. And here at the top where it says uh, collapse, expand, I can uh, select none. And by doing so, when I come back here, refresh the page, the minimize, maximize button is gone. So I can do the same, I can repeat the same thing for the second module. But again, this is how you turn on and off the minimize, maximize, and the print option. Now, just to make it clear, some containers may or may not have uh, the necessary um, uh, tags inside of it, inside of them, to show print, to show uh, maximize, minimize. It depends on, it depends if the original de uh, designer who built that uh, developer, designer who built that container, if they place those elements in that container. But uh, usually, if, if, uh, if you are buying from a reputable uh, vendor, they do place those tags uh, in the container so you can switch them on and off. Now I'm gonna show you another tag another option that may or may not be in the containers, but in, this, in those cases that I'm showing, they are available. You can also put an icon uh, beside the title of your container. So if we go back to, uh, to the site as admin or host, if we go to the action menu and go to settings, under settings, we have um, page settings. And then we, uh, the first uh, uh, setting under basic sets is, is called icon. So it's uh, by default it's selected none. You can select uh, an icon from the file system. So you can choose uh, a file and then you can upload uh, a new icon to the website. Or uh, just for the sake of example, I'm going to select a system image, uh, which is the last option. And uh, it will give me a drop down. Uh, list of different images to use. I'm going to use one of those icon images. And again, you can upload your own image by selecting file. Okay. But I'm going to, just for the sake of example, I'm going to select a uh, system image. And I'm going to say that I want to use this, uh, this icon here. Just for the sake of example, I'm going to hit update. 
And if we go back to the site and refresh our page, see, we, we are able to see the icon that we have chosen. Again, you can select your own icon, you can create your own icon to be used in those modules. Those are basically additional options that you can use together with the module and the container. Now, I'm going to give an example uh, where we don't need to use a container at all. So in my example, I'm, I want to add a banner here to the left side, but I don't want a title for that banner. So uh, let's, let, let's try that. I'm going to go back as admin or host. I'm going to select HTML. In this case here, I'm going to check what is the name of the pane in the left side just so I can put, place the place it correctly in the correct pane. Okay, so the left side is, is called left pane. So I'm going to go back to edit mode and I'm going to select left pane and I'm going to call this banner. So I'm going to add that. So we have added uh, a, uh, a text HTML module to the left side, and I'm going to place here uh, an image that will be my banner. So I'm going to edit content, and from here I'm, I'm going to choose an image to add as the banner for the left side. So here I just have to click Browse Server. Then here's the banner that I want to use. Click OK. So the banner is in place. I'm going to Delete this text and align that to the center. I'm going to hit save. Okay, so once I hit save, the, the banner is placed in the, light, in the left side. Let's go back here as a regular user and see how it looks like. So, uh, okay, so as you can see, we have the banner, but we have this, uh, we have the container here as well. And to be honest, I don't want the container here. I just want the plane simple image in the left side. I don't want title, I don't want borders. Very simple. How can we how can we do that? How can we achieve that? We go to the action menu of that uh, of that module, go to settings. And under settings, we can go to page settings and we can uncheck display container. I'm going to uncheck uh, allow printing as well. Maximize, I'm going to set as none, but the very, the most important thing is display container should be unchecked. So it will not display the container because we don't want that. We don't want to display borders, titles, none of that. So click update. Then let's have a look. Uh, in, in edit mode, in admin mode, you can still see the, the, the borders, but when you are looking at the site as a regular user, let's refresh this. And the container should be all gone. As I told you, there's no containers anymore. The title is gone. And we just have the plain and simple uh, banner here in the left side. So once again, you can you have the option to use containers like we are using here with the stacks, the title, the e icons, this, this the second uh, module here. We have borders. We have a title in a, in a very different style. But we also have the option not to display container when it's it's not required. For instance, this in the case of uh, this banner here. So again, those are more, this is an overview of some more advanced options uh, related to containers in .NET Look. Thank you very much. Bye.